based on our joint efforts and a very intense and successful work, we accomplished a number of improvements to military mo mobility already. Still, uh, there is uh, much more to be done in uh, transforming this ambition into reality. Military mobility is key to our security and is also the flagship project of NATO-EU cooperation. The military mobility can open the doors to uh, deeper cooperation between EU and NATO on a, on, a, on a wider range of areas. So that is something that I hoped in 2035 would be a reality and we can look back and say the pioneer project was, was military mobility. We wish to achieve a well-functioning uh, hub and spoke model in uh, Europe, which is a benefit to uh, both the EU, NATO and um, its uh, respective member states and uh, allies. Military mobility is not just about physical logistics. It is also about rules and regulations that make cross-border traffic easier. It is about digitalization so that complex operations can be coordinated in real time. During our presidency, we plan to pursue three main uh, priorities. First, uh, EU and NATO cooperation, then Western Balkans and energy efficiency in the defense sector. And we intend to promote military mobility in all three areas. The United States is committed to strengthening the U.S. bond with the European Union and its member states. Together, I'm confident we can modernize the architecture of the international cooperation to meet the challenges of the 21st century. It is up to us to keep the momentum and to use the strategic compass to deliver further concrete results in the years to come. To improve military mobility, continuous political support by all stakeholders is essential for our success. And I think that this symposium is an important signal that this will be the case.